Yo, what's going on guys? Ezim here and today I am going to show you how to get a free ship. Yes, another free ship crazy and loads of contraband in this facility. But before I get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. I'd really appreciate it. Now, I was randomly going about my business and I come across this abandoned weapon station. And what, where you want to go is you're going to go to Vegas, the Vega system. And you're going to go to the moon of Vega, which is called Vega 2-C. And you will find this abandoned weapon station. So you want to go there. And as soon as you enter, you're probably going to have to fight level like between, I'd say, 5 and uh, level 30 mobs. Uh, and 18, you know, it's different levels. It's like 12, 18, uh, 14, it, it, 5. I mean, there's, there's crazy amount of level differences. And uh, anyway, when you get there, on the left side... When you're pointing towards the facility, the, that's the building you want to go to. Now, you can run straight in, go for it. That's up to you. Now, once you're inside of this building, look for the note called Emergency Protocol. It's going to be on the right-hand side or straight ahead, depending on which door you go into. I went on the backside door, which is on the right-hand side of mine. But if you're uh, entering from, the, from where you landed, you're going to go left side. So it'll probably be straight ahead if you go inside of that, the first door. And it's going to be next to a safe. So what you want to do is you want to pick that note up, read it, and it is going to give you uh, coordinates to a place. And it'll say, it'll give you a mission called Travel to Vulture's Roost. Now, you want to start heading there now. All right, since we are here now, let the looting begin. You are going to be finding a ton of people. So make sure you, are, you come prepared, get meds, get your uh, damage... Uh, boosters i don't know amps you know get some freaking addiction going on with that shit um at first when you're around 33 percent complete uh, okay i have to cut myself off here now if you're really paying attention on the inside there on the on a small little table in front of a vending machine there is a, a magazine called uh crix's journal zero two well technically it's a journal i guess so this is why you have to pay attention to little or everything um, and this item will significant will by two percent decrease uh, the item prices in the store and increase your sell items uh, uh, selling items by two percent as well but anyway back to it um, that's when that's when the first bit of it is not gonna be that much loot uh, in terms of the contraband now once you get to the bar area that's where all the major contraband is gonna be uh, at least around that area you're gonna find a lot of Aurora uh, you're going to find uh, some, there's some doors uh, upstairs and they're going to be locked. So I would recommend at least expert level uh, hacking lock picking so you can actually get all the contraband because there's at least, I didn't do my math correctly in here, but there's at oh least 22, 23 um, items of contraband in this facility alone. These people have so much contraband. It is insane. Harvested organs. Bruh, no wonder you're telling me to go to this place. Holy shit. So as you're opening the doors, if you don't have them all open already, and as you have looted all the Aurora around, don't forget about the bathroom stall Aurora, um, because I literally looted everything in there. So there is a one, at least one thing in the bathroom stall. Don't ask why I did it, because, I mean, I, listen, I'm a loot goblin, all right? I've got to do it. It, it's just the game, okay? It, it, it brings the demon, the loot demon out of me, okay? Just just calm down. But anyway, as you uh, are opening the doors, you have at least, and the first room has 12 contraband, at least it did for me. And you keep going down, you open the doors, you're, you're looting all the antiques as well. And you, all of a sudden you hear a ship landing, right? At least I heard a ship landing. I don't know if it's different for anyone else. If it is, I uh, hope someone will tell me in the comments. But I, uh, on my end, I had a ship that landed, and the ship was named Dagger. And there are some enemies inside of the uh, the the cargo. And if you go inside, there's more enemies in there. So make sure you clear all the enemies out. And um, not to mention, once you pass all the doors that you unlock, this area is a huge area. It's just more loot literally more loot air just enemies galore loot galore you will have a field day it it is no wonder that it told you to come to this place it was meant to be so once you have everything done i think the the ship itself sells for like almost nine thousand uh almost nine thousand 
but if you register it i don't know how much profit that's going to be probably not much but regardless it's a free ship keep it you know shine it every once in a while with turtle wax i don't know do do whatever you want to do keep the contraband go sell the contraband sky's the limit at this point and honestly this is probably the biggest score in contraband i've ever found in this game so far and it's pretty nutty but if you guys enjoy make sure you hit that like button and sub i'd really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video peace out God, the, the bleed weapons. This actually set them on fire, too. Oh my god, it's got contraband on it, too. I can steal it! Let's go! I don't need pilot skill or anything. Bro, let's freaking go. This place is really lit. Absolutely lit. Free ship. Can't complain. Oh, that was a... This is a great ship cinematic right here, guys. Top notch. Let's clap. Let's all clap. I am so glad I can see my brand new ship take off. Clapping. That was amazing. This is a, the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, what? Oh my god. Bro, it just keeps shooting missiles.